Vidaya is the collective name for several indigenous groups found in southern Sarawak, Malaysia and northern West Kalimantan, Indonesia, on the island of Borneo, that are broadly similar in language and culture, see also issues below. The name Vidaya means, inhabitants of land. Originally from the western part of Borneo, the collective name Land Dayak was first used during the period of Raja James Brook, the White Raja of Sarawak. At times they were also lesser referred to as Clementan people. They constitute one of the main indigenous groups in Sarawak and West Kalimantan and live in towns and villages around Kuching and Samarahan in the Malaysian state of Sarawak, while in the Indonesian province of West Kalimantan they are mainly concentrated in the northern Sangha Regency. In Sarawak, most of Bidaya population are found within 40 km of the geographical area known as Greater Kuching, within the Kuching and Samarahan division. They are the second largest Dayak ethnic group in Sarawak after the Aban and one of the major Dayak tribes in West Kalimantan. Settlement areas predominantly Bidaya areas in Sarawak are, Lundu, Bao, Penrisan, Padawan, Sibiran and Sarian. Most of the Bidaya villages can be found in the rural areas of Lundu, Bao, Padawan, Penrisan, and Sarian district. The area continued to the ejecting West Kalimantan border where there resides in Kembayan, Noyan, Sakayam and Janking district in Sangha Regency. The area in which they live is mainly in the basin of the Sarawak River and hilly to mountainous forest, traditionally worked by rotational agriculture and hunting based around farms populated from parent villages situated on the hills for protection. Today, almost all the traditional longhouse villages have been replaced by individual houses, by roads and there is some plantation agriculture and a reduced emphasis on the growing of hill paddy. Fruit trees, especially durian, remain important property markers. The distinctive architectural and cultural feature of the Bidaya is the head house, now adopted as a symbol. Languages in Sarawak there are generally said to be three main linguistic groupings, Biata language, Singhe Jagoy, Bukar Sadong language, but these can be broken down even beyond the list referenced below as most people can be distinguished by locals down to village level through smaller differences in vocabulary and intonation. Each area speaks its own dialect, Lundu speak Jagoy, Salako and Lara. Braddock, Singhe, Krokong and Jagoy speak Singhe Jagoy. Penrisan speak Bizitang also people in Kampung Bunak speak Bunak Segu Benak. Sibiran vicinity speak Biata. Bidayas who live around Sarian such as Tabaking, Monkos, Tabidu to Tanjung Amo near the border of Kalimantan Indonesia speak Sadong. Several Kampongs in Sarian speaks Bukar language as for an example Taee village. Bidayas in Padawan speak several but related dialects like Bai Anna, Pinyawa, Brong, Bia, Basepug, and Emperor, Bipora. Bidaya Modan speak mixed languages, mixed languages between Padawan and Jagoy language, Semiba, Tamatu, Bumbak, and Sudad. The dialects are not mutually intelligible, and English or Malay are often used as common languages. Linguistic issues The Sarian Bidayas have a distinct dialect known as the Bukhar and Sadong language Bidaya, which is not intelligible to Bidayas from other districts. Here are some examples of the differences in the various dialects spoken in Sarian, with their English and Malay equivalents. Also included are two Philippine languages, Kapampangan and Tagalog. Religion and beliefs Bidayas are traditionally animist, and vestiges of these beliefs still remain. The Brook family era saw the arrival of Christian missionaries from 1848, bringing education and modern medicine. The similar process were also taken place in Dutch Borneo in the Dutch controlled side. The great majority of Bidaya are now Christians, majority of them being Roman Catholic. Almost 90% of the people of Bidaya has changed their traditional name to English name since they converted to Christianity and many young indigenous Bidaya people in Sarawak will never practice their ancestor ceremony anymore and indirectly it has weakened their culture as indigenous people of Sarawak. The original Bidayas are mainly pagans or animist before they convert to Christianity and they believe in ancestral worship and they also believe in the ancient spirits or nature. Due to that, they would have big celebrations like the Gawai, the 1st of June, which is a celebration to please the paddy spirit for good harvest and nowadays since 50% has converted to Christianity, the young Bidaya generation will only celebrate Christmas as their first priority celebration. Most Bidaya villages have either a Roman Catholic or Anglican church or a mosque but few villages are Muslims. Rarely more than one or the village would tend to split. The Biata people, who live in the Kuching area, are Anglican, while the people of the Bao area are Catholic. 
Now some renowned church also being established in some villages such as Sib, Sidang Injil Borneo, also called as Borneo Evangelical Church, Baptist Church, Assemblies of God Church and other churches as SDA, latter reign. The Bidaya of Bao have a unique tradition of hanging the bodies of the dead on trees and leaving them to rot away. The skeletons are left on trees as a reminder of the dead. The tradition is rarely done nowadays. Salako and Lara people issues Although classified as Bidaya by the Malaysian government, the Salako and Lara culture have little resemblance to other Bidaya groups and their oral tradition claim different descent and migration histories. Linguistically, the Salako belong to another language family tree which is of the Malayich Dayak family, the same family as the Aban. The Lara, although said to be more related to the Bidaya, Jagoy Singe, speak a language almost not mutually intelligible at all with the Bidaya but belong to the same language family tree which is the Land Dayak. Even their customary rituals and rites differ from the other Bidayas all Bidayas share almost the same ritual and customary rites. Culture Musical heritage the Bidaya have a musical heritage consisting of various types of agong ensembles, ensembles composed of large hanging, suspended or held, bossed, knobbed gongs which act as drone without any accompanying melodic instrument. Traditional dance Ngiyar Traditional cuisine Several traditional Bidaya dishes are Tempoyak goreng, fried fermented durian with pork and lemongrass condiment. Rotung, sago cooked in bamboo. Kubar, sweet sago pancakes. Lina, sticky sago paste. Manak pansa, chicken and tapioca leaves cooked and served in a bamboo stock. Toba, preserved wild animal meat or pork, and fish. Notable Bidayas Anding Indrawani Zaini, an Akademi Fantasia star, model, actor and singer. He is of mixed Melanau Bidaya parentage. Brian Nixon Lomas, former Malaysian national diving athlete. He was the youngest Malaysian athlete to qualify for 2004 Summer Olympics when he was 14. Dewey Liana Sirista, Miss World 2014 Top 25 and Miss Talent for Miss World Beauty Pageant. She is of mixed Bidaya Indonesian parentage. James Dawis Mamet, Malaysian Cabinet Deputy Minister. Pandalela Renome, Malaysian national diving athlete. Maid Khatib, former Anglican Bishop of the Diocese of Kuching. Michael Mannion, Sarawak Minister. Richard Riot Jane, Malaysian Cabinet Minister. Tony Yusof, actor and model. Venice Elfi, Malaysian football player, played for ATMFA. References Notations External links Ethnologue language tree The Bidaya language, yesterday, today and tomorrow book on the Bidaya language available for purchase from SIL, or freely downloadable from SIL, free access At or Simiang Mass, the Holy Eucharist in Bukhar Anglican Eucharistic Liturgy digitized by Richard Mamana